All right, and here we are back again. We have Eric Dankel. Eric Dankel TQ'd in the 10 scale uh, class here. Wasn't easy, there was a lot of competition out there, but before we talk about today's event, Eric, uh, I had the, the pleasure of hanging out with Eric in Hockenheim when we went out to Germany a couple of years back. Um, you know, I tell you, if you ever if you ever get a chance to travel overseas and race with these guys, these guys know how to have fun the day before the race, but the day of the race, they get serious, right, Eric? Yeah, right. I mean, it's a lot of the fun. <laughs> so you can see the grin on his face. There's a lot that he remembers that he's not going to tell anybody, right? So, but um, you know, compared to compared to Hockenheim, uh, you know, you're you're here at uh, in Kissimmee. Um, what are some of the differences between Hockenheim? Hockenheim is a big flowing track as well. So what are some of the differences between the Hockenheim track and here? I think the most uh, big difference is uh, the high traction. Uh, Hockenheim is uh, low traction um, and here is super warm, high bite. It's very difficult to set a car up that you get uh, during the run, the flow. Um, do not overdrive the car. Prevent traction rolling, yeah, it's, it's, it was not easy, but it worked very well. So you TQ'd and, and you did it on, I mean, the traction today was, it was crazy. There was a lot of, eight scales were traction rolling today. There was a lot of grip today. It's not easy to set up a car to go fast when there's a lot of grip, is it? Yeah, no, it's not easy. Um, when I drove first uh, on this track on, on Tuesday, it was like, well, my normal setup from Europe, I, I couldn't use traction rolling every corner. And um, yeah, I, I made electric springs in the car and I had some help from an Australian guy from Ricky and Shimo also. And um, yes, it, it was nice and now it worked very well for sure. Um, set a new track record yesterday in the cold, uh, but track to roll the car in the first run. Uh, but yeah, it's super fun now. <laughs> So, so yeah, it, to say it works well is an understatement because there's some really, really fast guys in the 10 scale uh, um, thing. So tell me, tell me some of the pressure. Tell me how the race actually was uh, when you when you TQ'd. I mean, it was uh, it was difficult. I, I watched the race. We have some of it on video. I mean, you guys were racing hard, and it was only a qualifier. I mean, you guys were you didn't leave anything on the table. <laughs> no, for sure not. Um, it was yesterday the the last run. Um, it was colder than today. Um, I think uh, it's difficult to say. I thought it would be the fastest run, but I, um, in my opinion, today the last run was the fastest. So yesterday I, I went all in, put small tires on the car and almost destroyed it on, on the chicane before the straight. Oh, I, was, I was really 110% driving the car, <laughs> but it was, the car was perfect. And um, yeah, after after the, the heat, uh, when I saw the gap to the to the second, I was I was really surprised. But yeah, I like it. Well, good. So speaking of the car, I'm gonna give you the microphone. I'm gonna put the microphone in your hands, and then I'm gonna point the camera at the car. Why don't you walk us through some of the things that you did to set up for this traction situation here at uh, Kissimmee? Okay. Um, so it's the Mugen MTX 6R. Um, there are nothing. Nothing prototype parts on the car. It's it's just the uh, the kit, this kit um, anti roll bars front and rear. Um, I use SMT springs pink all around, and um, two holes 600 uh, oil. Um, I use 50 gram uh, in the front on the bumper to um, prevent traction rolling. 2.5 million diff in the front, 80k in the rear. Um, yeah, I use the chassis weight. All, all the way in the rear. Um, so yeah. Simple, pretty, well, not simple, but straightforward setup. Yeah. So, so you didn't do anything really fancy on the setup. Um, compared to what we run in Europe, I am, um, I'm very, very much softer with the with the springs. Um, when I when I use the same shock setup like like I was using uh, for in the last ENS, um, it was. It was not possible to, to make a five minute or seven minute run. Um, it was too difficult to drive. Uh, yeah, I also go longer with the gear ratio um, because we use smaller tires to decrease the direction rolling. Um, yeah, the only really option part in the car are the aluminum axles. So normally they are steel, but yeah, it's, it's really pretty standard. So, th so that's a ringing endorsement for the car because it's a stock car and it's, I mean, UTQ'd with it. Yes. 
I thought it would be um, a lot more difficult to be competitive than in Europe because I never drove the car on the high bite. Um, but it turns out really well, so um, I'm happy with that, really. Well, I hope you would be your first. <laughs> well, congratulations, Eric. Uh, you know, may maybe we'll uh, we'll go see if we can top uh, you know the 1,000 uh, when we go out tonight. <laughs> All right. So we'll talk. Thanks again and congratulations.